Okay, you're seeing me turn a piece of Osage here. Okay, so I have you hooked up to my, uh, I don't know if this will make a difference, but normally I don't wear a headset here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do a Christmas tree. And this is Osage. Osage. Now, the story behind Osage, before I turn it, is, um, I don't know. This is Osage right here, by the way. It's kind of got a brown look to it when it's dried out sometimes. Uh, this is what I'm going to save to turn. Um, it was much bigger. Unfortunately, it split, so I had to take and make my bowl smaller. So there you go. Anyway, Osage was um, used for fence rows uh, around farms. And uh, the, the settlers brought it from back east. If I believe it came back, some it came from back in uh, Massachusetts in Maine. But they used it for windrows and fences. Now this stuff is pretty sturdy. It's pretty hard. Um, it withstands the uh, test of time. Uh, a lot of it is is straight at the trunk, but it doesn't get very high, and it's all scraggly. So. In most cases, it's not really a a good windbreak as much as it is for uh, for fence posts. Uh, so I'm going to try and turn a Christmas tree out of this one. Now, what I like about about this stuff is the way the grain is in this. Um, it's kind of, kind of it has kind of an orangish, yellowish look to it, and it's really kind of kind of this stuff is kind of nice to turn. Now, it is hard, so <clears throat> you got to be kind of careful at the same time. So I'm doing a little bit of a different Christmas tree. It's going to be wider, so. <clears throat> The other thing is, too, um, when you're doing this, I know leaving the bark. And this bark, I'm not worried about. Normally, what I do is I tape it so it stays on. This, I'm not to worry about. Um, but it, because it's got kind of a yellowish look at it, I, I we'll see how this works. I kind of I hate to use those. I really still doing it. Now, because I'm, it's going to be short and fat, I'm going to make it a little bit different than the other ones I found.
Not bad. Not bad. Now, I wanted a little bit more of a curve in here, but unfortunately, because the way the head on in the, on this is, it would take a little bit too much. So sometimes what I do is I use this. So I can curve it a little bit more. That's what they're for. Uh, but you got to move it in just a tad. Just a tad. And then what you do is you go... Now, it's a little bit rougher in here because these are, it's a little bit dull, but I, I'm going to probably sand this out a little bit better. Now, so now here's, <clears throat> here's the final stage. It's the final countdown. So now what I'm going to do is just Now, as you can see, it's wider here, right? So you're gonna have to spend some time just thinning it out. A lot of times I'll use, I'll use something a little bit different to make it. Now, I don't want to go too much farther because 1A, this could split a little bit apart, all right? But B, I want to sand this before I get too much farther. But that's kind of like, that's my Osage Christmas tree. And 
what I'll probably do in the end is put a little bit of a star on the top. Well, so there you go.